What is up guys and today I have a video on every single best attachment for every single operator so we have 28 attackers 28 defenders so this is going to be taking a while so I just want to go over first of all I want to go over what every attachment actually does not what the game description says because it's wrong by far it's not wrong but it just doesn't say the whole story of it and I'm going to say it now so I don't have to explain every single operator that I pick and every single decision that I make I want to go through these rapid fire so we're going to spend a minute here to explain the actual attachments and I think you should stick around for this and not just skip for the next part of this video because this will bring value to you and help you decide what you want to use that will actually help you and not just listening to me. We'll start with just a gun here with, uh, the, we're gonna go to the barrel. So there's a suppressor, flash hider, compensator, muzzle brake. Everyone knows what a suppressor does. Suppresses a gun, doesn't do anything for your recoil. So most of the time you're not gonna wanna rock with that. But a flash hider, a flash hider, the game description says, hides the muzzle flash and reduces small burst recoil, which is true. So the flash header reduces first sh shot recoil by 37.5% and reduces centering time by 30% and it also improves the stability a little bit. While the muzzle brake, it has better first sh shot recoil and I think it has better vertical recoil in my opinion uh, than the flash header for holding down even the um, the trigger. But it has no stability control which is, you know, it creates shaky shots but it depends. Every gun has a different, I have a different taste for and I'm going to show you every single one obviously but every single one is my taste and my taste only you can obviously interchange these if this one doesn't work for you use this one you know what i mean but most of the time you're going to want to use flash hider or muzzle brake compensator is good but it does nothing for your first shot or anything like that all it does is increase increase stability so there's very few guns i actually use a compensator on now as for grips this one only has a vertical grip but let's go to a gun that has multiple types of grips in habana let's go to habana so habana's gun it has a vertical grip and a angled grip the vertical grip reduces recoil by about 25 percent from um, just overall while the angled grip improves the scope in time by 40 percent so that has value in some situations but guns that are harder to control a vertical grip is definitely a better idea because most of the time in siege you are going to be both aimed in whenever you start a fight engagement so you're going to want that recoil boost and you're going to want to have better recoil than whoever you're facing and if they have an angled grip they're going to aim in faster but if you're both aimed in most of the time which is the case a vertical grip is going to give you the advantage and so i think it really depends if you're attacking or defending when i'm attacking i feel like i get in more of those situations where i have to aim in really fast and use the angled grip but while defending I'm usually holding down lines of sight and a vertical grip can work just fine with me and most of the time I'm strafing around corners with my sights locked in so a angled grip sometimes isn't best just base your decision off of what I just said there if you hold a lot of angles vertical grip is better it's gonna help you in more gunfights if you just round corners blindly and have to rely on that ADS time then angled grip can work good for you but that's all for the attachments other than that there's laser sights which um, um, those are good actually now that ADS time has been reduced on every operator and that's why I think angled grip is kind of becoming uh, more a necessity on some of these operators but I still think that a vertical grip has its place even though ADS time is reduced angled grip has its place vertical grip has its place laser sights is really the only other thing that I could say here and any operator with a shield should have a laser sight on because you're relying on hip fire a lot anything with a shotgun should have a laser sight on to reduce the bullet spread uh, so buck I use a laser sight and you could use a laser sight on everything because there is an advantage to it anytime you're hip firing anytime you're going from ADS to hip fire that is considered hip fire accuracy so the laser sight will actually help you get some lucky shots like that once you're a higher rank and know how to hide your laser then you're all set don't even worry about it you can rock laser all you want it's not going to get you killed ever really i've never been killed by a laser sight and how often do you actually get a kill because someone has a laser sight and you saw the little dot so let's hop into sledge uh, this is going to be the only one i explain at all so i'm going to go over the best gun only the best secondary only, and then the gadget I use. I'm not gonna explain it. I'm not gonna explain the attachments. I'm gonna explain it on this one because I want to explain my ideology with the scopes. So you might be asking, why aren't you using ACOG? First of all, I have an aggressive play style. Second of all, my FOV and uh, aspect ratio is a little bit lower. If you are on a 4-3 aspect ratio, ACOG is gonna be very, very zoomed in, and I think holographic might be a way to go if you are struggling with recoil. If you're not struggling, go ahead, play with your ACOG, but I like holographic 
holographic for my playstyle and my playstyle only. This is interchangeable on every single one of these guns. I need you to know that before you go down there and say holographic sucks because it is for a specific playstyle. Holding long angles, holding those really tight angles, long hauls and whatnot, ACOG is the way to go for you. But if you are on 4-3, you have good eyes and you play pretty aggressively, not like rushing aggressively, just like you're usually in tighter quarters, holographic is going to be the way to go for you. So with that out of the way, let's go into every single operator starting with Sledge. So the L85A2 is your only choice here. You have a shotgun as well, but I would go with the L85 here, one of the best guns in the game. Holographic sight, flash hider, vertical grip here and then the smg 11 high recoil weapon holographic flash hider and vertical grip as well as for your gadget you're going to want to go with the frag grenade most of the time over stun this is one of the only operators left with the frag buck lost the frag so that shows how important it is i'm just going to go vertically or horizontally like this and go down the list so let's go into thatcher now so thatcher has the same exact weapon as sledge with the l85a2 which is the better choice of the two due to damage this one has higher fire rate but you're going to want to go with the l85a2 and holographic muzzle or flash i usually use flash but this is the test server so some of these are going to be off and i'll fix them for you but flash hollow vertical grip p226 uh pistol is the way to go i use muzzle break here only time you would use a suppressor is if you are going to be flanking anyone and as an attacker i don't really flank anyone at all and as a thatcher specifically i'm usually not even having to destroy cams that often in a more stealthy manner i'm gonna go with a claymore here most of the time because i solo queue a lot but that might change if you are in a stack with a bunch of guys that watch flanks Ash, we have the G36C and the R4C. Both of these are usable guns. G36 has the angled grip, which is very useful for a rushing operator, plus the ACOG. And then I would rock a flash hider if I was going to use the G36. R4C is probably the harder hitting gun out of the two. Just barely, but it has a higher fire rate, so it feels like a lot higher hitting because of the more bullets coming out, obviously. Holographic flash hider vertical for me for the R4C. I would go with the M45 over the 5.7. Most of the time, 5.7 has good irons but the four m45 has the more damage and i think that's what you should look at most so a muzzle break there and then a breach charge or a stun i would most of the time use a stun because your gadget thermite we have a hard breacher here the first one here the 556 five, very solid weapon very strong low recoil so i usually I actually use a ACOG on this gun, but once again, these are interchangeable. ACOG though, because I hold a lot of angles whenever I'm a thermite, and then an angled grip and a flash hider works well for me. Once again, we use the M45, muzzle brake, and then a claymore because a lot of people like to run out on thermites, and I like to block that with the claymore. And then a as twitch, this is one of the guns I really need a muzzle brake on. Most guns will have a flash hider here, but muzzle break on Twitch is very noticeable. The vertical recoil is insane. You're going to need a muzzle. Holographic and vertical grip is the way I'd go. P9 handgun, I do this just because of the fire rate. I want a gun that can shoot a lot over a revolver like that. So P9, muzzle break, and then a claymore just because I solo queue. Montane, first shield. Just pick the pistol that has a higher fire rate. Obviously, they both have one, but this was one that you could shoot consistently back to back to back. And you're going to want a laser on every single one of those. Muzzle laser for me for the P9. And then a flash as well. Not much to talk about glass here, but the pistol. Both of these are good options here. I actually would go with the PMM here and then a muzzle break with it and then have smokes of course you have frags as well but smokes help your actual utility and gadget with the glass thermal sight fuse has the same ak that our new operator ace has i use a acog flash and angled on it works really well for me uh but i usually actually use a holographics uh most of the time but either of them flash hider is the way to go for recoil control and then the same thing with the pistol here pmm and a breaching charge for me smoke can work as well but breaching because I'm usually above when I'm fusing and I could play vertically. Blitz, another shield, just pistol, laser, muzzle. Don't worry about it. IQ, you have two guns that are very usable here. Three, actually, but... I would only use the 552 and the G8. G8 has the highest fire rate out of all of these and has a decent damage, but this is the gun for people that want to mag dump and just pre-fire 50 plus bullets. And the 552, if you hit your shots, that is a very good gun with an angled grip, a cog muzzle is what I like on it. And the holographic gun, I usually use the G8 for because I am playing pretty aggressively with IQ and I'm going to be playing more close range gunfights. So hollow, flash, angled for me with the G8A1. So go moving on down to Buck. This is a operator I actually main most of the time. So my opinion is pretty strong about this one. Holographic, 
ACOG is extremely hard to control recoil. This is the only gun I actually use. That in Habana, the reason I use holographic on, because the recoil is insane with the ACOG. Holographic, it feels way more controllable. And then you have the muzzle brake fl uh, laser. We've already explained why the laser is because of shotgun shots. And then the MK1 muzzle brake. And then I use a claymore, but a stun grenade can also be good. Claymore is good for me because if I'm going upstairs, most of the time I'm going up alone because I'm solo queuing and I need something to watch a flank. So a claymore does that for me when I don't have teeth. Teammate. Blackbeard, um, I don't play Blackbeard that much, but you're going to want to ACOG with Blackbeard because you're going to be sitting on windows. ACOG, muzzle, angled. This is just what I had. Test this out for yourself, though, if you're playing Blackbeard. I don't play Blackbeard that much, so I am not going to have a strong opinion there. Capiteo, slower fire rating gun with the Para Re08. I like hollow, angled, flash. Not a lot of recoil here, so angled is okay. No vertical grip needed. And then a Claymore once again. And then the only pistol choice here with a muzzle break. Habana, a hard recoil gun. Holographic flash hider vertical works good with me. This is one of the operators I use vertical on on attack because the recoil is a little bit crazy and shaky if you go with angled grip. Vertical, again, increases your recoil by about 25%. So this 25% makes a huge difference with uh, Habana in specific. I like the bearing nine for really close range gunfights. You're gonna have to be really close and sputter fire if you are even at anything but a few feet away. And then a stun grenade for me since I already have the hard breaching as my main gadget. Jackal's another operator with two very good guns. I would use the C70 or the PDW. PDW has more, uh, I guess, fire rate. No, they have similar fire rate. It's just that mag capacity. But for the most part, I use the C70. Holographic, once again, muzzle, and then angled grip for the C70. Very limited recoil on the C70. Very good gun. Uh, I would use the ACOG on this sometimes as well. If your sheer determining factor between holographic and the ACOG is just how easy the gun is to control, then this is a very easy gun to control. So ACOG, you can get away with here. PDW, holographic, muzzle, angled. And then you can go either way up here. If you're playing above, you could technically play vertically with the shotgun, but for me, I usually don't. And uh, USP-40 is the way to go here. And then a Claymore as well. Ying, I like the T95, obviously. This other one's a shotgun. This is a LMG, so a compensator would work. But I don't like just holding down the trigger on Ying's gun. I don't know why, but flash hider just works better for me. I use an ACOG actually on this gun. I usually play further back. And then a angled grip as well. And then just for the pistol, once again, muzzle brake. And then I also have smokes because you want those throwables. Since you have the three candelas and then you have two smokes. So that's five throwables. You can really destroy. You can eat up the Jaegers and Wamais with Ying. The Zofia, another hard breacher or soft breacher. The M762. This is one of the weapons, very few weapons I run run ACOG on all the time. I just love the recoil with the ACOG. It just leads me right to the head for some reason. And um, I don't know, something about it. So ACOG, flash hider, angled grip. Good pistol. Muzzle break has a little red dot as well. So that one's easy. And then I rock Claymore on it because it's already a soft breacher. Doka B, you have the DMR here, not the best weapons or the boss G. And I'm going to rock an ACOG on this muzzle break because it's a one shot gun. And then angled grip so I can aim in faster and recoil is not really thing on a DMR. C75 is way more controllable than the SMG12, but either of them will do. For the most part, they're really close range guns, but the C75 is just a little bit more manageable. I don't like to put a suppressor on it, so... C75, smoke or stun, you know, either way, just depends on your play style. Lion, another toxic operator, not really that toxic anymore, but ACOG muzzle angled. This is another ACOG operator I like. Very, very, very little recoil, so muzzle ACOG angled works pretty well for me. P9 handgun, once again, because the fire rate, none of the revolver stuff for that with a muzzle, and then claymore or a stun or finca's weapon the spear is the best weapon for you the acog it looks a little goofy but it's not as much of an acog as some other guns so i actually like the acog on it flash hider and vertical grip and then the pmm or the gsh i like the pmm even though the capacity is a little less with the muzzle break and then a frag grenade i usually go with the frag grenade with Finca because you are trying to get frags when you are a Finca and help out your team. Maverick is another operator that I use a muzzle brake on. It's one of the few that I use, holographic, muzzle, angled. I like this setup here, hollow, muzzle, angled for his gun and the only pistol choice here with the muzzle brake, of course. 
This is a very good pistol, by the way, so don't be scared to pull it out because it actually has some pretty high damage at 55. And then a frag grenade because those holes can be pretty good to throw frags through. Now as for Nomad, I like the ARX 200 personally with a hollow and a muzzle brick, but the AK is very well and has a pretty good capacity um, compared to the ARX actually times two. So if you can control the AK pretty well, then, you know, go for it. If I were to use AK, I would probably use holographic, and with the gun, I would have to test it out, but flash hider is probably a pretty safe bet there on any gun. They added a new pistol in the test server. We are on the test server servers, by the way. Obviously, that's why I'm level 50, and um, the PRB-92 with a muzzle brake is very good, and um, I don't think the 44 Magnum's very good at all. It has the ACOG, which is odd, but its damage is so low. It's just a weird pistol overall, and I think this gun is a lot better and more well-rounded. I like to rock with the stun grenade on Nomad, so let's go on down to the next operator, which is Gridlock, which is a very good gun. The F90 is very good. ACOG flash hider vertical grip. I'm usually standing a little bit further back with Gridlock, so ACOG is okay. She also has a pretty decent LMG. I just would always go with the AR here though, just because that fire rate is like a lot, a lot more. And then I would go with a pistol here or with the muzzle brake, I would go with this pistol in specific and not the super shorty. In most situations, I'm not trying to play vertically, but if I am trying to play vertically with my vertical player and use gridlock, then I would bring the shotgun as well. And I would double down with him and be able to, you know, help out the sledge or buck. Smoke or breach. Once again, this goes into the same category of if you are gonna try to play vertically or anything like that and actually need a breaching charge. If you don't need a breaching charge, smoke, you know? There's, that's, it's as simple as that. Now for knock, knock is very nice with it. The FMG9 is a very good weapon. Holographic flash hider is like, what I like to use there. You have the choice between the Deagle or the 5.7. I like the Deagle, personally. That one shot, 71 damage is pretty powerful. And most of the time I don't even have to pull it out. So more of just a gun that I want on my side because it is a strong pistol. And then a frag grenade as well is what I like to run on knock. So Amaru, she has the G8, so it's the same exact setup as the other weapon, uh, the IQ's weapon. So hollow flash angled. And then she has the SMG 11 hollow flash vertical. Claymore or stun, if you're gonna be Russian, then stun is probably better, but Claymore is also good most of the time. Claymore is a pretty safe pick on a lot of these. Callie's the one that changed a little bit. She has the SMG now, so a flash hider on it is the way to go. Don't pick the C75 over it. The SMG is better in a lot of different ways. Mostly though, because the recoil and iron sights on this gun are terrible while the SMG is actually able to be seen out of and more just usable. User-friendly, I would say. Can't put any attachments on snipers. And then a Claymore or a Breach for you. Or Cali. Yana from last season. She has the choice between the ARX 200 and G36C. So these are both reusable guns. Um, this one's more powerful, while this one is just a little, little more easy to control with the ACOG on. I would use this if I'm trying to be very aggressive. But the ARX... 200 is usually my go-to because I really like the gun, I really like the damage, but the G36 is still a solid option. Pistol, you have the MK1, muzzle brick, and then a frag grenade to go alongside of it. Ace is our new operator. He has the AK. That's the only thing you need to worry about. Hollow flash angled or hollow uh, or ACOG flash angled. I like the flash hider. I compared them all right when he came out because I never used the ACOG or I never used the AK on fuse because I don't really play fuse very often. So I don't know what was best, but the flash hider seemed to control the recoil best. Muzzle was the second best though. If you are going to compare them. Angled grip worked okay. Easy gun to get used to and one of the best guns statistically in the entire game. You have the P9 pistol, muzzle brake, and that concludes our attackers. We are halfway through. I knew this was gonna take a while. I'm gonna speed it up for guns that are repeats uh, this go around. Attackers, I kinda explained even the repeats a little bit too much. So I'm gonna go real quick here through the next 28. Try to get through pretty quickly, but Hopefully this is giving you a good baseline. If you're following along and actually copying mine, then you know just use it as a baseline. Play T hunts with the operators that you're going to use. If you don't like something, go back, refer to the first minute or so of this, and change it to what you want from the gun. Stuff's going to be different though. If you have a ACOG and a hollow, recoil is going to feel different entirely. If you're on console, recoil will feel different entirely. So keep that in mind. 
Let's go into defenders. Smoke, you're gonna wanna go with the shotgun here, laser. I like to use a reflex on shotguns for some reason, but hollow is also cool. I just don't really like red dot, SMG 11, hollow, flash, vert, and then barbed wire with smoke, just because you are usually an anchor. Mute, you have the same exact setup with the M590A1. If you can't control that, go to the MP5K because the SMG 11 can be tough to control. Same exact uh, setup, hollow flash vert, and then reflex laser for the shotgun, and then a nitro cell, what I like to use on mute. Going over to castle, we have the UMP45, hollow, muzzle, angled, pretty solid actually, pretty fast, little recoil, just does no damage, and then the 5.7 USG, or the super shorty. Probably the super shorty here actually, now that they added it. This is the first time we see the proximity alarm, so I'm gonna do a little bit of explaining here. I don't think this is going to be that good, but it is very annoying, so it might it might be. But I like the visual intel more than the audio intel in this game because audio is not the best in this game. So for now, it's a bulletproof camera, but if the meta changes, go with proximity alarm. I don't know when you're watching this, but for now, bulletproof camera. Pulse, same exact loadout, but sometimes you're going to want to use a shotgun depending on where you're playing with your pulses, but... UMP 45 and then you have the M45 or the 5.7. I like the higher damage pistols, so muzzle and then the UMP hollow muzzle angled. And then you always want to pick a nitro cell because you can use those from below with pulse. Easy kills. Don't ever pick the barbed wire if you are pulse. Doc and Rook are the same exact gun, so I'm not going to go over both of them, but MP5 is the best gun for him. ACOG muzzle vertical for both of them. And then the pistol is a P9. And then I like barbed wire with Doc. And then the same goes for Rook. Same exact setup for the MP5. Same exact pistol. And But I pick a impact grenade for Rook. Capcom gun is pretty good. The 919 VSN. Uh, you got the hollow, comp, and vertical grip. That's what I rock on it. I like the vertical grip for some reason on it. I don't know why. But it just, uh, I just like it. Low damage gun though. So don't rely on it too much. And then for the pistol, the PMM is the way to go. Muzzle break. And then a nitro cell for the killing and fragging potential. Tachanka has the same exact gun, so I do the same exact loadout on it. And then the GSH-18 or the PMM, PMM there. And then barbed wire or proximity alarm. Who really cares because Tachanka is a meme. Jaeger, very good shotgun, but why would you use that if you have the 416, which has no recoil and is a solid gun. Hollow, flash, vertical grip, and then the P12 muzzle. And then I usually rock barbed wire here for Jaeger. Bandit MP7, very good gun. Hollow muzzle for me. I don't know. Something about it. Mid-range and long range is not that good on this gun. Recoil goes everywhere. So muzzle just helps me, you know, get that first bullet accuracy. And that's what I want out of Bandit. E12, muzzle break, and then nitro cell with Bandit. Frost has a really low fire rate, but um the damage is pretty good, so if you hit your shots, it can be pretty decent, and the recoil feels pretty good. I like the extended barrel, though, for some reason. You could go with none if you are scared of the extended barrel to show through, since it does add a very long barrel. And if you tend to sit by doors a lot, it can show through. So, extended barrel, I don't really sit by doors that much, so I'm not worried about it. An angled grip, hollow. MK1 9mm muzzle brake, and a deployable shield for frost. Now going down to Valkyrie. I love the MPX, very limited recoil gun. I actually could use the compensator on it just for that stability control for it because there's not a lot of muzzle velocity there. So hollow, comp, angled. And for the pistol, you got the deagle, muzzle, and then a nitro cell to play off of your cams. And then cav, uh, I don't play that often, but when I do, I would use this sight near the M12 hollow flash and then the pistol, which you can't do much with. And I would not use a laser on that in specific as a roamer though you usually need rotation holes but this could be pretty interesting using the proximity alarms you could use it while you're roaming and then get some easy interrogations off the alarm going off and that is a way to do it but you're gonna need rotation holes most of the time echo i like the mp5 sd i think that's the only gun you should use acog angled grip and it's suppressed already so damage is a little dropped off damage is actually pretty low at 30 but fire rate's pretty good. Bearing 9, same as Habana. You got to be really close up to hit your shots with it. Very crazy. And then barbed wire here for Echo because the, the shield is now gone uh, for Echo. If you need rotation holes, though, bring the impact if none of your team is bringing them for you. Mira, you have the vector, and the vector is pretty good. Hollow flash vertical is what I like. You could also use extended barrel in this case because the bullet drop-off is pretty, pretty real there, and the fire rate and damage 
you know, you need all the damage you can get at long range. So extended barrel is a good option there. But flash hider vertical and hollow for me. And then I use the the uh, the shotgun to make holes above my mirror so I can throw my C4s through them. Legion and Malusi have the same gun. T5 SMG, very good. Hollow, flash hider, and then pistol with uh, the impact grenades. Ella's gun, you need the right attachments on and need the right style. I have a full Ella video, but this is just a short hollow flash vertical grip. Sputter fire with her gun. Do not hold down the trigger. That's all I can say to you. And then the RG15 muzzle brake um, and barbed wire or deployable shield. Deployable shield if I'm going to use the deployable shield. Barbed wire if I'm not planning on using the shield. Vigil is very solid here. K1A is a very solid gun. Hollow, muzzle, angled for me. And then the C75 I like over the SMG12 in this situation. And then impact grenades for rotations. Maestro, the Alda 5.56, very solid weapon. Hollow, muzzle, vertical. Compensator would work as well if you are you have a tendency to pre-fire. And this is a good gun to pre-fire with, so compensator can work. But muzzle break works really well for me with that vertical recoil. And it helps me bring it down. And plus, you don't have the ACOG anymore, so holographic is the only thing you can do now with the Alda. And the Bala 410 is the one you're going to want to go to go with because rotation holes you can bring barbed wire instead of an impact because this gun can make rotation holes same goes for the next operator in alibi who has the mx4 storm hollow flash angled is the way to go there and then you have the balf as well you can bring the deployable shield to set up your alibi prismas behind if you bring the balf to create rotation holes Clash, I'm not going to talk about much. I don't respect you if you use Clash, but Machine Pistol, Flash Hider, Laser, just because it has that shield barbed wire as well, just to add to that toxicity you already are doing if you are Clash. Cade, another great operator. AUG or TCSG-12. TCSG-12 got a little bit of a bullet fall off now. Got a little nerf, so AUG is actually a option if you want to go full auto, holo, comp, vert. But if I go TCSG12, I would go ACOG, uh, no suppressor, and then vertical grip. Or angled grip, I guess, would work pretty well here too. But vertical grip, I don't know something about it. I've used this gun a lot, and vertical grip is never, it's never given me a problem with ADS time. So I just stick with it. And then a laser sight, because technically it is a shotgun. And between the two, they're both pretty bad, these handguns. But I would pick the one with the scope. Don't know why, but... It just, I just would. That lucky headshot is much better than a revolver, in my opinion, of course. And then nitro cell, barbed wire. I like the killing potential of a nitro cell. And now moving on to Mozzie, we have two solid weapons again. P10, Ronnie is my favorite one. Hollow compensator angled grip. I like to run compensator on guns that have very little muzzle velocity and guns that I tend to pre fire with a lot. And that's fits right into the P10. Commando 9 though, hollow, muzzle, angled, and the pistol, of course, just a muzzle, and then barbed wire C4. I like the C4 most of the time, especially if I'm roaming, and Mozzie is a roamer. Warden MPX, same exact setup, comp, hollow, angled, with the the P10C as a scope, a little, little muzzle break on it, and a C4 or a deployable shield. C4 most of the time though, Warren's pretty useless in most situations though, so don't worry about it. Goyu, um, he has the Vector as well, or the TCSG-12 Vector, same exact setup as Mira. TCSG-12, same exact setup as Cade. So, just pick your poison there. I like the Vector here because I like playing my shields. And then a Nitro Cell and the P229 with the Muzzle Break. We are almost done here. Well, my, I love the AUG on this gun. AUG hits hard, hollow, flash, and then you have the P12 or the Kratos. I don't know, Kratos is weird. You can't shoot it as fast as a normal pistol, so keep that in mind. But if you hit your shot, 78 damage is no joke. And then a deployable shield to play against or behind and having your Womai's up, that could work pretty well. Orcs, you have the MP5 with no ACOG, hollow, flash, vertical grip, and then the Balif for rotations, hatches, and such. You're going to need this gun if you want to play Orcs to its full potential. And then barbed wire as well. Malusi, T5 SMG, same gun as Legion, hollow, flash, and the RG15 with the muzzle brake. And that concludes 
our full attachment guide for this season. This took a little bit longer than I would like, but hopefully you learned something or you just used all of these and this is a good baseline for you. So remember, everything is personal preference at the end of the day. And if you don't like the way it works, then just switch it. But this should give a good baseline to everyone. ACOG and Hollow are always interchangeable with me. Remember that. That is very important. Always interchangeable. So don't just copy me on that. Do it based on your play style. Aggro, Hollow might be the move. Aspect ratio, very low. Your Hollow should be probably pretty good for you. And if you hold angles, ACOG is good for you. Anyways, this took forever. A like would be appreciated if you made it this far. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.